There you go, folks. Nice. Action. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. There's a real understanding of, I think, who we are in these stories, or at least an effort to. And they're human stories. I think people will be touched. I think people will be moved. And most of all, I think people will get to a point where they feel that they've sort of uh, achieved something. There's a real achievement in these films, not in the sense of way of, of what we've done, but in the sense of the way of what these stories are trying to sort of translate, the, the sense of an achievement in a way. Lover's Rock is a love story. It's the story of a 16-year-old girl. Martha Trenton lives at home with her mum and dad. Who leaves her house late one night. Her first night out is all really exciting. To meet her friend in the park and go off to her first blues night. Protection. Blues parties were a particular feature of West Indian life throughout the UK from the 40s to the 70s really. The house owners would empty their houses of furniture, bring in a large sound system, do big pots of catering and bring in beer and then charge an entrance fee at the door for party goers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That money. Patty is the best friend of Martha. You have to dress to impress. She's going to keep you safe and she's going to make sure that you have the best boy at the dance, you know. I only appreciate how beautiful you look. Name Franklin. Come, come. <laughs> Franklin is a young man who's just going out for a, a good night at a party this particular night. He meets a young woman called Martha. Can I beg you a dance? If you want. And it's just showing their relationship within this night, how it can go from a dance to something stronger. McQueen. I think he's a genius, as we all know. Steve is incredibly motivational and just inspirational as a person. He gives you the space to really find something and it becomes your work. He brings a vision and he's telling these hard-hitting stories beautifully. He's telling them gloriously in a way I don't think anyone else would have been able to. He's so down to earth and he's so, so real. There's endless possibilities working with him, which is really refreshing. I really hope that the younger generation will come to them because not only are they a record of a piece of history that is passing, I think they have a highly educational value as well because of the authenticity and the truth with which we're trying to tell these stories. They're so important. Um, they're lost histories in a way, the histories which haven't been sort of illuminated and, and, and shared and valued.